Then we all know Ross Chastain had the viral move of the 2022 season. It was so good, the move got its own nickname, the Hail Melon. It was the how did he do it, did I just see what I thought I saw moment of the race and something that does not happen often in NASCAR. So what did Ross have to say about it? Let's hear. Every spot could be the difference. Two spots there. Gotta get him. Yeah, I gotta get him. Each two. Chastain did a video game move. You made the transfer, man. I guess it does work. Holy <laughs> Did you see that? The one Hail Mary in the center and uh, got him. Dude, he held it wide open all the way through the corner. I could not believe it. Ross, you will forever be in the history books of NASCAR. Now, as it sunk in more and more, what it what it afforded us to do and go race for a championship, it's so cool to be back. Well, let's go take a look and yeah. bring back some memories from last year. Carry on, there's only one life to so how in the world, from listening to you talking to your senior spotter, your crew chief, you ask how many spots you had to pick up. You thought of this from the front stretch and made the decision coming down the back stretch. So when I was coming down the straightaway, I thought I would just blend into it easy, but I actually didn't hit the wall until down here where it really starts turning, and it was a bigger impact than I thought. I actually let go of the wheel right here in the middle. So it was about dead center, a little bit further down. I just, I realized I wasn't doing anything. So I, when I let go though, the G-forces were so strong, it pinned, it pinned my hands over. It honestly gave me a really bad feeling of now I've lost control. Was that a perfect storm? The risk has to be worth the reward that's potentially there. And I think for a, a bid to go fight for a championship, it's just life, life goals. Yeah, we needed to preserve history with the wall. We took some paint off where it says Martinsville and frame it and present to Ross. I couldn't compare this to anything. I've been here a, a lot of years, but this, this is at the top of the charts. There's nothing that compares. One of our sayings is only at Martinsville. And this for sure is only at Martinsville and yeah, it will ever. Forever, it'll only be at Martin. So while we were sitting here watching this piece, Trevor said, man, every time I look at that, I feel like it's in fast forward, right? Like yeah. you can't believe that he did it. No, everybody says I'll do whatever it takes to win a race, to Except be in the that, championship right? four. <laughs> but he actually did whatever it takes to do it and executed it well. You know, I've tried it in the simulator and I got to be honest, when you're headed at the wall wide open to grab another gear and hold it wide open, it even takes my stomach and I know it's not going to hurt. <laughs> so for him to do that down the backstretch just blows my mind. What's crazy is that his crew and team did didn't even know this wasn't something that like they had talked about and there's no code words for yeah. him to actually do it he just flat did it uh, it's, it's amazing to me post race we're all thinking surely this was calculated surely yeah. he had thought about it but he swears that it wasn't anything that he had attempted in the simulator or in iRacing racing or any of that so that's just amazing to me to have the consciousness to go down the back straightaway in fourth gear which is what you run in martinsville and grab fifth gear and just put it to the wood. I have no idea how you can even do that. I think it's something other than consciousness, but well, uh, you well, know, <laughs> it, it was crazy. It was crazy. And, and I think everyone, like every driver in the field, I mean, even ones that were out on the track with them must have been like, what, what just happened? Well, I think they were. And I think now they're glad that it's banned for life, yeah, yeah, right? Because yeah. they don't have to go and do that. Yeah. I mean, you heard Ross talking about losing control. I'm not a huge fan of roller coasters because you're not in control of those G-forces. And, and hearing him talk about that. That's actually the first time I've heard him say, my hands got pinned. Yikes. Like the, the level of force that was in that car is unbelievable. I'd love to see the incident uh, data recorder yeah. on oh that goodness. and just see what, see what it says. It's got to be the longest yeah. impact anyway. Oh, for sure, right? It's got to be something like that. That's it, amazing. I was sitting on top of the five-car pit box, and we were in the middle of three and four. <laughs> and as you're watching the race and, and paying attention to what's going on, you kind of get into a cadence of the cars lifting and when they get on throttles. So you kind of hear it. And as that car was coming, I was like, this is bad. <laughs> Something really bad is about to happen. And, and, and again, you know, thankfully nothing did. But as he's going in the corner, I looked up and I was like, he's, he's the throttle's stuck wide open. And then you kind of put together what's happening. And I was like, I just can't believe this That's right now. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, race fans. Thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.